Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled Lyrid Meteors from the Constellation Lyra. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image showing the part of the Lyrid meteor shower, which occurs every, ap every April. The meteors are bits of a comet that are left behind in its orbit. The comet is long gone. We do not see the comet anymore. But some of the material that was vaporized off of its surface remains and continues to orbit the sun. When the Earth intersects that orbit, which it does every April, then those pieces of dust and ice hit the Earth's atmosphere and vaporize. And that is what we see as the trails here. Now, one thing you can notice is if you trace them all back, you see that they reach a radiant point towards the middle here, where the image is centered. All of the meteors will seem to come from the same point in space, and that is because they are all coming from the same direction. They are all traveling parallel in their orbits. So parallel objects appear to converge off in the distance, as we see here on Earth. If we watch railroad tracks off in the distance, they appear to get closer and closer together. Or sets of telephone poles off in the distance will appear to merge together even though we know that they really are remaining parallel to each other. So that is what's happening with these as well. Now we can also see a number of other things. If we move the mouse over the image, some of these things are annotated. And we see the uh, Milky Way galaxy, very obvious here, curving towards the left-hand side of the image uh, from the upper left down to the lower right. We see our Milky Way galaxy, our own spiral galaxy, as we see it from within. And we can see the dark dust clouds and bright star clouds that make up our Milky Way. We can also see the bright star Vega. Uh, Vega is the bright star in the constellation of Lyra. And that is what we see, in fact, relatively close to perhaps the radiant point that we see in this image. So it's actually coming from that same constellation. And that is the bright star that happens to be located in that constellation as well. And we see another bright star. Part of the summer triangle is the bright star Altair. Uh, which is visible as well. And that, along with the bright star Deneb, make up what is called the Summer Triangle, three bright stars prominent in the summer sky in the early evening in late summer. So all of those are visible here as well. And in addition, we see a planet, the planet Jupiter, also present here, uh, very close to our Milky Way galaxy. So a number of different images that we see, uh, very, some very bright objects, uh, several bright stars, uh, the bright planet Jupiter, and of course the Milky Way galaxy, as well as the Lyrid meteors that we see as well, a good number of them that had occurred during the image that was taken here. So that was our picture of the day for May the 12th of 2020. It was titled Lyrid Meteors from the Constellation Lyra. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Jupiter IR. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.